Welcome to another episode of South Down Garage. Today we're working on the TV cable. If you don't know what that is, it's this gorgeous creature right here. I spoke to a transmission shop. Thank you Summit Transmissions in Abbotsford for talking to me. Um, so one of the things they said is your pressures are directly related with this cable. So if the cable is stretched or worn like mine is, you could have some problems. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you our baseline uh, without any adjustments. And I'll show you, if you haven't seen the last video, after this video, go check it out. But to catch you up to speed, I'll show you what we did to hook this uh, gauge up. The gauge installed, we have it sitting up there. I might throw a zappy strap around it just to be on the safe side. So if you're plumbing in to put a transmission temperature gauge in, you'll go into this port right here. So you see where it is, it's, it's midway of the transmission, right on the dry, uh, passenger side. So we plugged into there, zap strap it to keep it away from the exhaust, ran the line up and out of the vehicle. Now, that's the only way to really test these pressures. Now that we have that gauge hooked up, uh, we have our 300, zero to 300 PSI gauge strapped to my windshield wiper, super redneck, awesome. I fit right in here in town. So now we're gonna do a test without adjusting this. Then we're gonna adjust the cable. And then we're gonna do another test. And then we're gonna replace this cable. We're gonna do another test. And if all that fails, then we will adjust the transmission pressures. Hopefully we get to that video, that part of the video today. If we don't, I apologize, I will get to it. Maybe we'll just make a video on just replacing the TV cable. I will put a link in the description for the part number so that you guys can order your own. And I was told you can only get this from Dodge. So for 150 bucks, not what I expected. I thought it was gonna be more expensive. So thanks Dodge for not ripping me off. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I've got my pressures up here. I kind of I kind of got a little nervous, but okay, so you see my pressures here. So 90 to 100 PSI, that's at uh, engine idle, transmission in drive. So let's see if we have that pressure. Okay. So you see the 100 PSI there, so it's Okay, so it's on the low end. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna start testing gears and it's asking for shift point from second to third driving normal. And then uh, second to third wide open throttle. So we're gonna go do those tests right now. Okay, so going from second to third. Next test I'm going to do is uh, second to third part acceleration. I'm not super convinced about this, but we're going to punch it and see what happens. about this truck downshifting on me for a while so I'm interested to see what is causing that so now I have to go back to the drawing board so we're back from our first run didn't go so great did it uh, we had some lower pressures idle pressure was good so when I spoke to Summit Transmission I told him the idle pressures he said well if that's good then your pumps okay he realistically said, if you change a valve body like we did in the last episode, you don't necessarily have to do this if you know your transmission's good, if you've got good pressures. But again, how do you know without checking the pressures? So 
Now we're going to jump in, we're going to adjust this cable, we're going to go for another drive, and then we'll come back and assess what the changes were. Before we go out on the road, there's one adjustment we have to make here, and it is there. We have to make this adjustment. So this is the cable you need to adjust, and on the back side of that cable, there's a little square section. This piece here, you push in with your screwdriver, and you pull this out. Push in this, and pull that border backwards. Okay, here's my. changes weren't great so that's why we have this cable here today so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna change this cable we're gonna show you how to do it then we're gonna go out and we're gonna test this again and see if it makes any difference and if it doesn't then the next step is up the line pressure so let's go ahead and start working on this okay so we're gonna first start by unadjusting this cable so that we can get this off and then there's two two tabs here Holy cow. that's a little backwards okay so now we've got this new cable strapped in there we can pull this cable through so we're going to go down below and we're going to disconnect everything and pull this cable through okay so we're under the truck here we've got this cable here now let's pop that oh yeah there you go that's off oh see that's that's pretty gone. There we go. All right. So, so that is off. Okay, so we've got this cable run all the way down. So we're going to put it through the hole. Hopefully you can see that. Run it through the hole here. Uh oh on something. Oh nice. There you go. So this piece here has to sit on the outside. Oh dear. There you go. All right. And then clip that into there. All right. So that is in. So now we can go down to the bottom and we can snip that zap strap and then we can stop profusely sweating and install the cable on the underside. Alright, alrighty. Don't buy an automatic, buy a manual. They don't cause problems where you like these stupid things do. Unless of course it's a five speed manual and they're junk. There we go. Okay guys, so we've got the new cable in, we've got the old cable out. So let's go test drive it and we'll show you the new numbers. Okay, so we got another freeway. I adjusted it once because it wasn't quite right. So let's try this again. Around and hit one more time. Okay, we're getting on the 
freeway again. This time I have no cop because I couldn't film last time, so. Alright, let's give her. I just left it in drive. Oh, it ships nicer. More consistent, more consistent pressures. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so. Man, that cable makes a difference. Holy smokes. Um, so I did adjust it up a little tighter uh, than just a little bit of slack. So you're gonna have to find your happy medium. But that cable made a huge difference. Um, I'm not dropping out of gear on the freeway. Um, it's controllable, it's drivable. Uh, if that was the case the whole time, man, I wish I did this sooner. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. I did not get the pressures up to where they uh, recommended, but um, if you want to see that video, just send me a message or comment. Let me know you want to see the line pressures getting adjusted, how much it actually takes, and I'll show you a video of that. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, Feel free to share this video and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time on another episode of South Down Garage.